Hey -o, everybody, Haku here with my live reaction or read through or whatever for at least Beastars chapter 155. So my plan is since I was off last Friday with holiday stuff was to do double reviews of One Piece which didn't have a chapter this week so it ended up being just, or double reactions, so it ended up just being one anyway, Book Near Her Academia, and then this. So there isn't a new chapter out for this yet, but this chapter was also posted in English a little bit later, like Monday or Tuesday. Uh, anyway, so basically I'm going to do 155 now, and if before I post it, 156 is out, you might see a random, like, close change in the middle of the video. Uh, because if 156 comes out before I get this posted, then I'll just edit it into this and do both together in this video, but I don't know yet. As for right now, it's just chapter 155, though. And this one is called The Yoke Forever in Our Hearts, and I'm excited because we're back at, um, we're back at Cherryton. Are we going to see more Legum? Uh, that would be so great. From like chapter 20 to now chapter 155, another Legum chapter would be hilarious. Uh, but either way, yeah, let's go ahead and read 155, see what we get into. Uh, we're starting off with a flashback with Lewis, though. Um, Bill, you'll be the next club president. And he looks surprised. Huh? What the? Um, I mean, um, I know I put a lot of troubles, or put a lot of troubles to you. This is so sudden. Wh why me? Is there any reason for this? And he gets silent. It's been a month since he graduated. His voice was so small I couldn't hear a thing. Bill, I just thought about our last date. <laughs> and of course he's squeezing her butt. <laughs> of course. Oh, Bill. Chapter 155, The Yoke Forever in Our Hearts. But seriously, why'd he choose me? Sorry, gotta go. Eh, there's still time before the club. I'm the president now. I have to take care of a lot of stuff. Carnivore dorm kitchen. It's clear I'm not suited for it. I'll have a, I'll have a light snack before then. You're still pestering me to the very end. Right, Mr. Dear Senpai? I'm not righteous like Alba, or attractive like Pina, and even not strong like Lugosi. And he opens an egg. Oh, and it's a baby bird in there. Gah! And he starts freaking out. He grabs his face. And some other student looks over. Please sort your trash, he says. Is, is this for real? A shock egg? Shock egg. Fertilized eggs mixed up and sold as unfertilized eggs. It's a very rare case, hence the name. Happened mostly due to private circumstances from the laying hens, of course. And he looks surprised he's looking around. Bill, frankly, I don't care that you drank small animals' blood to pump yourself. Unlike Lugosi, I never expected you to have good morality in the first place, and we're seeing this way back from, like, the first arc. I won't be the same as you. Uh, uh, huh? Am I allowed to eat this? Let's sort this out. Bill the Bengal Tiger. Eating meat's a felony, but carnivores like us still have to provide ourselves with protein with eggs and milk, right? Then what about this? Is this safe to eat? Am I allowed to do that? Yeah, this is really a gray area. But then, it's going to die anyway. Oh, it's still alive. Jeez, I would have thought it would definitely be dead. Unless they were keeping it in some warm place. Adding this to the soba would make it taste much more delicious, right? And he swallows. Or is he going to end up raising this chick as his own? Sorry, Louis senpai but this is really who I am, and he smiles. I'm so weak at containing myself from pleasures. I'm good at excuses and never take anything seriously. I'm just a meat-loving, filthy cat. Whoa, it's the first time I've seen a shock egg and Pina just shows up. <laughs> Pina just always randomly shows up. You're gonna eat that? How very bold of you. <laughs> Pina, why are you here? Since when? The year before dorm kitchen was full, so I borrow this place. I always make tea before going to the club, you know? Eat it if you want. It's a super rare soba bowl, and I'll just stand here and watch. Maybe I'll learn something. Rizsan went to the juvie because he ate his classmate, and here you are eating a baby, but can carry on living a peaceful school life. Well, this world is truly unfair, and he has this dark look on his face. I, I won't eat that, of course. Then, let's save the baby. Save him? Isn't that already too late? We'll have to do the best we can. For now, let's get a thermos and some lukewarm water. How's the infirmary? There's an uproar about a chinchilla being stepped on by a rhino. I can't even get in. 
Really? Accidents happen a lot during season changes. Oh no, it's getting weaker. Club or house. Info on the net's limited, so it looks like only warming up's not enough. Are they gonna freaking drown this thing? Seems so. The only animal who knows how to deal with this is... Ah! <laughs> Thanks. Guys. <laughs> Alba's face. <laughs> they just give him a thermos with a dying chick in it. Guys. Why do I feel like it's staring at me? It looks so happy seeing its mom. Feather warmth is really the best. So cool. Who did you call mom? Damn it, I can't even move at this state. We had no choice. You're the only bird we can count on. That doesn't mean you could just suddenly call me and... And then start splashing. Ah, uh, sorry for shaking you. See, it's getting better. Don't worry. They're there. Isn't it good, Bill Senpai? Huh? What? Looks like that baby's finally saved. Well, Alba Senpai, please keep being a good mom for us. What the heck? It's so painful. As the baby began to get better, I felt more guilty. Alva, I wrote the notes for you. I have some food. Thank you. If you're bored, I have manga and games. And birth porn. No need. <laughs> I, I want to be with you tonight. I don't even have a choice. That I have to devote myself. That is so cute. Bill is becoming dad to this random baby bird. Is this some kind of anxiety that males have when they start a new family? What are you talking about? Stop saying it as if we're a family. I'm really sorry. I can't tell you why. It's maybe rude, but some things are better left unknown. Sometimes I'm even scared of myself. But you're not scared of me at all. I decided not to name it. Supporting ways wouldn't hurt so bad. Because felines are not bad at all. They're just dumb, <laughs> said, uh, said Lewis. Ah, uh, that's right. That's what you said to me at that time. Wait, is that the reason you nominated me as the new president? Up until the end, you were just an obnoxious guy. You even came to my dream at the perfect timing. Oh, this is so great, and Bill's giving it to a police officer. One week after it, it, er, it hatched, we gave it to the police after it grew strong enough to go outside. Please, take it to a better place. Sure. Take care of yourselves. And Bill runs back over to it. I I want to remember its face. Remember for what? It'll become a chicken anyway. You wouldn't even recognize it, says Pina. It's not about that. What a weird week, says Alba. I think you should stop going to, or stop going to the back alley market for now. Even if I go to the back alley market, I'll never eat chicken, says Bill. Such shabby words. What if... Or what if it got into the back alley market? I'll never eat chicken. Or, oh yeah, that's true. Just in case his child ever got sold there, he can never eat chicken. Because he might accidentally get it. Don't raise the red flags. Will you still go there or not? That is... Bill Senpai. Wanna have soba for lunch? Says <laughs> uh, I'll never eat soba either. Bill, the filthy cat, is making the first step toward becoming a real man as the club president. Probably. That's so great. I love this. I hope we get years and years from now Bill finding his chicken child all grown up and happy. Oh, that'd be so great. I love this. Now, I think this was accidentally posted twice, but I'm going to look through just in case. Sorry if this video gets a little laggy. It's loading up the chapter again. Uh, because I saw this chapter up here twice. I just wanted to double check to be sure. But I think it just accidentally got uploaded twice. I don't think it's actually uh, actually anything different. Okay. Alright. Yeah, just checking through it. It looks all the same. Alright. Yep, that's that. Either way, I had a lot of fun. This was really good. Uh, either way, I'll be catching up to the anime as soon as possible posting this as soon as possible, 156, whenever it comes out. Uh, hopefully I can catch up to the anime within, like, maybe this week. I keep saying that. I keep trying my best. But, uh, we'll just have to wait and see where things go. Either way, thank you for watching, though. Like if you did like the video, comment down there, tell me what you thought of this week's chapter, what you thought of my thoughts and reaction and all that. Subscribe for more Beastars, much more on the channel, both anime and manga, like I said. Comment down there to tell me what... Wait, I just said that already, I think. But either way, your opinions and conversation are always valued. Um, 
Uh, if you want to follow on Twitter, I can try to keep you up to there and stuff for the channel. I talk to you there. If you'd like a link to the Discord server to talk to me or more of us about B Stars or anything else, then just ask and I can give you a link to it. Um, it's free and open for anyone. And if you'd like to help support the channel on Patreon, just to make sure I can keep doing these videos week to week and all that, um, then a link will be in the description or it's patreon.com slash Haku of the Tubes. But either way, thank you so much for watching. I, uh, I had a lot of fun with this, as I always do with Beastars. I love these little taking an aside to go to a different character type of chapters. I love these. Um, these are some of my absolute favorite and some of the most memorable to me in the series. Uh, but yeah, either way, I loved it. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.